Hello everybody, how are you doing today? My name is Tony Rizano, and you are listening to another episode of the world famous, the University Love, the best podcast in one, two, three galaxies. But ladies and gentlemen, you and I would just call this show Online Walking the Moves. We are coming to you live today. Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't already, um, download all 800 episodes from Spotify. Ladies and gentlemen, tell the people of Spotify that this is the greatest marketing show and that you need, you know, we we need, you know, I'm going to write Spotify a letter, a letter tonight and I'm going to mail it. And I am going to tell Spotify about the show, about the marketing, about the podcast. And I am going to highly suggest that, you know, because a lot of times, listen, you have a podcast and you are <clears throat> and you are going up and up and up you, you get you got to get some breaks because not everybody in the brother has a podcast so you are in competition with a lot of people you know it might be different genres and all that but still at the end of the day you want a, you want as many people watching your listening to your podcast as possible so okay so you have to, you have you have to fight the uh the Joe Rogans and the Bill Simmons and all that jazz. So this is why every time that we record, every time we upload an episode, I say, you know, do us all a favor and go download all 800 episodes wherever you get your podcast. But definitely, if you have Spotify, go to Spotify, follow the show, download all 800 episodes, and let the people of Spotify know I love this show. Listen. We are on the rise, and I want you to come with us, and we need all the advertising bucks we can get, so every time that we record a show, we will, we will promote the fact that we need all of you to go and download all 800 episodes, okay? I don't care if you listen to them, you need to download them, <laughs> let people know that you are on board with the greatest show in podcast land with the greatest show hey move aside soprano step aside seinfeld uh, get out of the way good times this is one of the best shows that you're ever going to listen to and now ladies and gentlemen today we have something very important very important to discuss and that is why you need to be creating all the content you possibly can the best time to create content is when ladies and gentlemen when you don't need it okay you don't want to want to you don't want to be the one you do not want to be one of these people who, you know, wait around, wait around, wait around, wait to create content when they need it. Then you start to create it and something happens like the electricity goes out. You get caught up in a hurricane. You get caught up in a tornado. This, that, and the other. All types of things can happen when you actually need to create content, you know, have the content on deck, have the content ready, waiting, ready to aim, ready to fire. And um, that way, when you need it, it's already there. You can just upload it and you can go on about your business. You never want to be unprepared. Now, the best, the one thing, <clears throat> the hardest thing about running a business, it's very easy for you to work at a job and somebody tell you what to do, when to come in, what time to come in, what time to show up, what days to be off. Hardest thing about running a business, being an entrepreneur is it sounds good. It sounds cool. Everybody wants to do it, but you have to get up. When are you going to create the content? When are you going to do the necessary things? You know, six days a week, seven days a week, five days a week. You know, how often are you going to work? How hard are you going to work? You know, the best time to create things is when you don't need them. Okay. And so there's a lot of people. There's a lot of fake people out there that are tell, telling themselves, I'm going to be, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be an entrepreneur. You and I both know it ain't going to work for them, but for you it's different. So what can you do to, what can you do to ensure that you are creating content that you don't need? Always, always focus on you, focus on the content that you can create. You know, I was thinking yesterday, I was with my daughter yesterday, not a good time. <laughs> not a good time to create content when you're with a child, especially a three-year-old, okay? But I was sitting there thinking, I was with my daughter, and, uh, you know, I was thinking how I have I have these videos that I produced, um, 
one of my la- my last week that I was in the back of an eighteen wheeler, you know, working, you know, being gone and all that. And I recorded these ten videos, and I just have them on my phone, and I have yet to do anything with them. And so, you know, got to get together, got to get together some packages and start actually u- using the videos. But I have them; they're available, and they're and they're there to be used. And so I'm prepared, and I have another program that I'm going to record in a couple of days. And it will be coming out in the next couple of weeks, but it's it's already written down. I know what I want to say. I know I know how I want to word it, how I want to put it. So it will be there. And so you always want to be, you always want to be, you know, prepared. You always want to be ready, willing, and uh, to make all the content possible. Now, a lot of times we all get caught up in the uh, trappings of you know, being in the world, you know, hey, what's going on in the world, you know, who's sleeping with who, who's doing what with who, it doesn't matter if you're friend, if they're friends, family, celebrities, it doesn't matter, but the one thing you want to do is make sure that you are creating content when you can, you know, a lot of times, and I've used this excuse before, man, if I only had time, you know, a lot of us, we have plenty of time, we have time to scroll on the internet, we have time to look at Instagram, you have time to be on Twitter, you got time to watch these TV shows. You got time to do all that. But you don't have time to create content. It doesn't matter if you have five minutes, ten minutes, an hour. If you have the time to create content, to write something down, to do something as far as getting your business together, you should be doing that. Okay, ladies and gents, do not, do not, do not tell yourself the lie that you don't have time. You have plenty of time. Everybody has time for things that they actually want to do. It's amazing how people claim you know uh, people claim that they're so busy yet they have time to do things that they actually want to do it's like if you if it's it's like if you're dating somebody and they start telling you ah you know I'm, I'm so busy i'm super busy i'm very busy i'm so busy 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 they ain't that busy okay nobody's that busy do not let anybody lie. People have a lot of time to mess around, and that's what they do. They mess around, you know. Do not be fooled by people. A lot of times, you know, you could you could you could you can mess around and go ten minutes on Instagram, just scrolling. You know, one good YouTube rabbit hole, and you are and you are watching videos from five years ago. You know, you're watching an old TV show. You don't watch three episodes, an hour and a half that went by, two hours that went by. You could, you, 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 you gumshoe could be creating content right then and there. But you're not. You are busy scrolling the internet, being in the world, being, you know, a time waster, not being productive. Okay? You, do. you want to avoid that at all costs. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk to you about uh, a marketing. I want to talk to you about a marketing um, genius that I always laugh at every time I see this. I was putting my daughter to bed yesterday, scrolling by the TV, and I saw and I saw that the Dallas Cowboys were playing the Pittsburgh Steelers on Sunday Night Football. Sunday Night Football is a big deal. I had to think to myself. You know, it was the last time I watched the Sunday night game? It's been a while. I did not watch this game, but I thought about I thought about my I thought to myself, man, the Dallas Cowboys, Jay Jones is a marketing genius. Why do I say that? Because the Dallas Cowboys, if you boil it down, you think about it, Dallas Cowboys, they have not been to the Super Bowl since nineteen ninety five. They have not been to the Super Bowl, you know, whatever the 1995 season concluded in 19, you know, like January 1996. That was the last time the Dallas Cowboys has been to the Super Bowl. It has been 20 something years since they've been to the NFC Championship game. But yet and still, does not matter. Coaches have changed, players have changed. It's a new century, for goodness sake. Yet and still, we still talk about this team who has basically been. 500 mediocre since since 1996 but yet and still they get all the primetime games they get the thanksgiving game 
They get the Sunday night games, the Monday night games. They are no better than the team that I that I watched. I used to watch the Atlanta Falcons. The Atlanta Falcons. As a matter of fact, the Atlanta Falcons have been to more Super Bowls in the last 25 years than the Dallas Cowboys. Yet the Atlanta Falcons, they don't get they don't get any coverage. Close. Close as the Cowboys. The only time the Atlanta Falcons got any attention is was the year they went to the Super Bowl. And the only reason why people paid attention to them then is because they were playing the hated New England Patriots. And the Atlanta was up 28 to 3 and people thought, yes, they're going to beat the Patriots. And it did not happen. They blew the game. But the Atlanta Falcons, they get no attention. No, no, no public, no national press. Okay? But the Dallas Cowboys, year after year after year, they drive the they drive the they move the needle. This is what you want in your business, okay? You want to be the Dallas Cowboys. You do not want to be the Atlanta Falcons, the Cincinnati Bengals. You know, you want to be a team like Dallas, Green Bay, um, Pittsburgh. You want to you want to be a franchise that no matter how bad you are, no matter what you do, you always get national games. You always get a look. Does not you have the year Dallas? They keep coming back national game after national game. I don't care if it's Thursday night, Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night. And Dallas Cowboys, and when they make the playoffs, they're always going to be the prime time game. Why the drive ratings? That's what you want in your business. You hope and you pray that you can get marketing results like a Dallas Cowboys, Donald Trump. Um, who else? Bill Clinton, Barack Obama. You want to you want to move the needle like these people. These people move the needle. Joe Biden, he didn't. He never moved the needle. Uh, Kamala Harris probably can move the needle. You know, uh, Trump definitely can move the needle. Obama, Clinton, you know, George Bush, eh, not so much. Both both Bushes, eh, not so much. Ronald Reagan, he he could drive the needle. You want people who drive the needle. Uh, let's you know. Uh, you want people who you want people who can get eyeballs. That's what you want in your in your marketing. You know, um, of your sh- content. You want to be able to you know have people talking about it, looking at it. You know, the Falcons are a nice organization and everything. But nobody cares about the Atlanta Falcons when it comes to the football teams, okay? If the Falcons had zero zero um primetime games or if they had sixteen, people would not pay that any attention. When the schedule comes out, people I'm sure people, Dallas fans, Dallas pundits, people that hate Dallas, they probably go, Well, let me see how many games the Cowboys got. Dot, 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 dot. That's that that is what you are looking for when it comes to your business. You just want the more people that talk about you, the more people that, the more attention that you can get, the more people that you can bring into your, into the fold of your thing, your podcast, your videos, your written word, the better off you will be. The more, the better chance you have of making money, collecting emails, getting sales, driving people to your website. You know, this is what you want. You do not want to be a team like, let me think. What is a team that never gets any kind of publicity besides the Atlanta Falcons? They do okay. You don't want to be the Arizona Cardinals, okay? Nobody cares about the Arizona Cardinals. Let's be honest. Nobody cares. They don't move they don't move the needle at all. Okay? You do not want that. Okay, you want to be able to when people see your name, they go, Oh, let me check it out. Let me give it a shot. The main thing you want is you want people to say, let me check out what they are doing, dot, dot, dot. That's what you're looking for. You don't want people to just keep scrolling by, but like, I don't give a f- what they doing, okay? You want people to look and say, oh, what's going on, you know? Anytime when when Trump used to be on there being a mad tweeter, you know, people would be like, oh, let me see what Trump is up to. Let me see what Trump is doing, blah, 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 blah. No, are you going to be as good as that? Probably not, but you want people to see you and you want people to be like you want people to have a reaction that that this is what you're looking for at the end of the day okay 
And so, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. I, I just thought about that when I was watching Dallas. You know, I thought, man, Dallas moves the needle. They stink. They suck. They're not. They're not a good football team. But damn, they move the needle. Okay. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back on Wednesday with the all new episode of Online Marketing Moves. But until then, my name is Tony Rizzano. Thank you for listening. God bless each and every one of you. And as always, everybody, peace.